Heidi Ho, Wettenbau Club, my way into Gaslands. Yeah, I bought some stuff, and I found some stuff, and I got some stuff, and I read the book. Uh, okay, I just read some parts of the book, and I found out that there are some vehicle types. So let's sort uh, my stack uh, after vehicle types. That's a cool selection right now. But I will start slow. The book says uh, in order to get started it would be cool to have two buggies and two regular cars. So yeah, let's find two buggies and two cars. So this one my little daughter wants to have. Uh, so I cannot use this one. So I will use those as buggies. This one has already got a, some details. <laughs> yeah, maybe this. Okay, so this would be my two cars and my two buggies for the first build. On Thingiverse there are tons and tons of cool small bits uh, for Gasland. And I printed some. I printed four wheels, three machine guns and a motor block. Uh, the thing is, there was more on the build plate, but I suck at 3D printing still. If it's not pre-supported, um, yeah, but I got some guns now for those guys here. So how do I know what to do? Of course I watched tons and tons of YouTube videos before I started my project. There are a lot of really good channels out there. Um, yeah, let's take those suckers apart and uh, look what we got. I, at the first thing, I just copy what I've seen on the internet. Uh, and in the book, there are really nice illustrations and photos in the book. So it's prime time. Everything is primed. Let's cut some pieces off I don't like. And then glue stuff to it. It's like small meshes and wire and uh, plastic bits and sheets. Uh, Everything that's laying around, nothing special. So this is a zip tie. And this is the packaging, uh, clear plastic. Uh, it will be painted later and then it's a metal plate. Silence. Tension. Yes. I hate super glue. I hate super glue. It does not stick to the stuff I want to adjust to my fingers. They, yeah, it looks like gloves um, after the session. Yeah, let's paint stuff up the interior. Ha! I did a split box um, of skulls with friends of mine. What do I need 400 or 300 skulls for? Um, so we split the box. And this one team is the skull spike chain gang team. So they need skulls. They will be grim and dirty and dark and nasty, yeah, like a little bit barbarian style in cars. Do you see my fingertips? Yeah, that's, it'll be worse that night, <laughs> later that night. Yeah, I just uh, wash the interior a little bit. It will not be visible really good, but some painting is good for the ego. <laughs> After I glued on a lot of pieces, I tried to fit them back together. Uh, this one was a little bit hard because the stuff I glued into was too big. Accelerator spray is uh, my best friend. Yeah, this is uh, what they look like. A little bit dirty, but the building is complete. Team Skull, and this is Team Wacky Welders. <laughs> so the Wacky Welders uh, are not good at welding, but they uh, are good at paint jobs, so they get some color. I thought of a little bit of gold and uh, blue for those guys. A little bit friendly team, uh, color-wise to have a nice contrast to the bad mother suckers. Mother sucker, that's also not politically correct, I guess. 
Yeah, and for those other guys, the skull uh, chain gang thing, I use uh, artist uh, chalk. Nee, chalk, charcoal. It's uh, charcoal sticks to paint with. And I just push them onto the build and it sticks where it sticks and uh, I ripped off one of those skull antenna thingies. But I can't do it back on. Yeah, just press it on there and what sticks, that sticks, that doesn't matter. Now it, everything looks burned and full of ash and yeah, nice and grim. L of course, a little bit of um, soft pastels, dirty colors, all the grime. Here is uh, the nice paint job. It's a thick uh, wash, so the underpainting does not uh, go to waste. I like blue and gold. Yeah, the underside must be dirty also. They driving around in the wasteland thanks to my patreons and if you want to support it's down in the description below yeah he animated that yes yeah.